You know what I've never mentioned before? I've never mentioned Peter Coffin. Because frankly, I had never seen any of his videos because I have a really bad habit of not paying attention to the Marxist community in general. And that's, that, and that's wrong. And I've, I've slowly started to change that. You know, Fellow Traveler, and The Ewoks Unhinged, all great channels. And I've, I've turned that around and start paying attention. So I've come across Peter Coffin... And I see him say something as simple and honest and true as to hell with bread tube. Now, it's no secret that I don't particularly care for bread tube myself. But I see a lot of these things that Peter Coffin is saying about bread tube, and they're right. But this video isn't about Peter Coffin, although I do agree with what he's saying. This video is about the nonsensical replies to him about it. Okay, he says, he says a bread tube is the current iteration of the skeptic movement. People are going to get that problem is, not what comes next, not being another skeptic movement 3.0, and mentions a lot of the bad things that bread tube is doing. Like Caleb Moppin mentions a lot of the bad things that bread tube does, and then not bread tube people per se, but the supporters of bread tube, the viewers, respond in such a completely nonsensical, frankly idiotic ways. So let me get this straight. So because Caleb Moppin says, yeah, uh, the Holodomor was a complete load of crap, there was no deliberate plot to destroy. Ukrainians, there's literally no evidence of that other than, I, I guess, if you count Robert Conquest as being a piece of evidence, but I'd call him a piece of something else. So all he says is, yeah, of course there was a famine, no one's denying that, and the way out of it was to collectivize, which you could criticize Stalin for not having done sooner. And so. He's bad for that, but not the people defending child porn Bosch. N-word using Bosch. That's okay. I mean, this th th does this really work in people's minds? I mean, I, 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 I get why... I mean, I get this to some kind of degree. I know there's always going to be a severe cognitive dissonance. You know, it happens with people. It, it, this is a kind of thing that, that, that goes down. If I say, yeah, there's a class difference between the first and the third world, the first thing somebody will do is scream turf with no evidence. Or transphobe. I mean, I, I know it's a knee-jerk reaction to insulting anybody who disagrees with you rather than actually confronting the material argument actually being made. But think about this. So you point out that basically BreadTube is a bunch of worthless sock dems who were jumping, who were riding, allow me to rephrase this, dick riding Biden. And you criticize that because they're not supposed to be, they're supposed to be Marxists. You know, it's funny, you keep, the, the Marxism in BreadTube keeps, uh, you know, disappearing. It's almost like... It's almost like they're a cabal of people specifically designed ideologically to completely trash Marxism. Like, it just keeps happening again and again and again with more and more people inside of Bread to people who are actual members. And the best that any of these Bread Tube cultists can do is just... Uh, scream you know whatever like oh to make fun of them or whatever okay Peter Coffin says anti-natalism is nothing like okay no wait he he he, he called anti-natalism Malthusianism perfectly valid criticism because it is if life sucks don't have more don't have more kids because existence is suffering. I think that maybe what he was really trying to say was that maybe you should stop the world from sucking. And the antinatalism is Malthusianism, and he's perfectly right to do so. 
But then you get people who respond to him with these, like, nonsensical, like, arguments. Like, oh, you don't understand Malthusianism. But then give no explanation as to why he supposedly doesn't understand it. It's like literally of the political version of no you. And I use that as a joke. I don't even mean it seriously. These people are using it ideologically. It's it's just when when someone makes a completely perfectly rational argument and people respond with this complete nonsense and one of the things that drives me up the wall is what about the the bread do people that aren't like that mexi isn't like that black red guards not like that so why aren't they saying something i mean that the, they're members of bread tube i mean the last i heard black red guard was a member of bread tube He's their token black guy. That's not a criticism of him. That's a criticism of them. Why don't they say something? Say, yeah. Okay, by the way, BreadTube, you're being fucking stupid. Stop. Or even just leave. Not even be a part of it. Why would you want to be associated with that? I'm sorry, but Black Red Guard and Mexi are not like BreadTube. They don't seem to fit in at all. And that's not, that's not an insult. That's a compliment. I don't get this. Like, I'm, I'm scrolling through Peter Coffin's Twitter, and I've never actually looked at it before. And the, the tweets he's putting out are perfectly reasonable. I don't understand... It's like... When people say, oh, we, we got to do harm reduction, we got to do harm reduction. And I, I give that quote by Lenin where he says, if all if the advanced, the advanced industrial countries, which would be the precursor to the first world, not the first world, but would be the precursor to that given his time, and would say, if all you do is vote for or push for improvement in your own conditions, you basically says you're, you're not a revolutionary, you're reactionary. That's literally what Joe Biden is. He's the same violent imperialist foreign policy, just with slightly better things for first world people, or in this particular case, the United States. I mean, voting for him is literally it. Voting for Joe Biden literally is that. And the best example of that there could be so I in it's a perfectly valid thing to say I'm, I'm trying to pull up I'm trying to pull up the, the the quote right now so that I can actually just straight up give it I should have I should have had this ready ahead of time but I but I didn't Okay, so I'm, I'm scrolling through blog. Okay, I can't even find the... Um... Oh, my God. Bear with me. I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to get to the damn tweet. I wish I didn't tweet so much. Yeah, don't even get me started on that. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to edit this out. Okay, I found it. 
The industrial workers cannot accomplish their epoch-making mission if they smugly restrict themselves to attaining an improvement in their own conditions, which may be sometimes tolerable in the petty bourgeois sense. This is exactly what happens to the labor aristocracy of many advanced countries, who constitute the core of so-called socialist parties of the Second International. They are actually bitter enemies and betrayers of socialism, petty bourgeois chauvinists, and the agents of the bourgeoisie working within the working class movement. That is about as good a definition of people who vote who voted for Biden as you could ever get. That is it. Right there. Perfectly describes them without question. It's an amazing quote. And this was before there even was a first world. This was the, as I already said, the precursor to the first world. I mean, Lenin literally already called that. And then, well, you know, if I say it, it's automatically wrong. Uh, if Lenin says it, then it's like, all of a sudden, uh, yeah, well, uh, that, 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 that's not what he meant at that time, or Lenin said to vote because, because Lenin and misrepresent what he said because I'm Bosch. And that's perfectly it. And it, it, it's amazing. You don't want to agree with me, fine, don't agree with me. I, I don't expect the majority of first world people to do that. I don't expect the majority of first worldists to, 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 to be that way. But could you put together a rational argument? Could you not just simply acknowledge that, yeah, there is a difference between the first and the third world? God, I mean, I could... I've already done enough to show the material difference between the two. It doesn't matter. With Peter Coffin is making completely rational arguments, noting things that are completely screwed, and then they're just responding with like complete nonsense, like with insults. I don't I don't get how the minds of these people work. When I hear when I see something I, dif I, I disagree with, my mind just goes off and starts picking apart and deconstructing it. Mine doesn't jump to instantly insulting people. Is there is there something intrinsically different about me? I, 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 is there something wrong with me or is there something wrong with everyone else And it's like when somebody says like when bread tube says anyone who defends Mao or Stalin or Kim Il-sung is just like a Nazi it's literally the same thing because Nazi 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 which is a liberal tactic and then turn around and say oh I love the Black Panthers the Black Panthers supported all these people you f moron I mean, do I have to take Steve's struggle and drag him out here to tell you that you're being stupid? Or, or can the rational understanding that the Black Panther supported these people, is, is that enough for you? Or, or do I have to have Steve struggle come out here and say it himself? And it's like, people respond like, oh, well, the more the leftist view is, is, is put out, the better it is, the better spread the ideas. Yes, that, w that is true. If these people were leftists. It's complete. When you're advocating just ride with Biden for your own sake, you're doing the epitome of that Lenin quote. And that Lenin quote, by the way, that I gave was the one that was censored by Twitter. I remember a little while ago, I made a video on one of my tweets just getting shadow banned by Twitter. And that was the one. And I know because I, I went to, you know, incognito mode, whatever, pulled it up. And it says, oh, this tweet is not available because it is too true.
And it's 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 amazing how you can cr rightfully criticize BreadTube for things, and they will just turn around, and, and not so much them, but their followers will act like you just committed like the most great cardinal sin. I I don't know if Peter Coffin is used it, it commonly insults people. I I don't know if that's true. Because I'm scrolling through his thing right now, and I, and I don't see it. But maybe it happens in places where I'm not seeing it. But I know I don't. I know I can lose my temper and do it. But generally speaking, no. And when I do replies to attacks, when they're actually worth doing, I think I, I generally make a very solid and valid point against what was being done. I don't, I don't understand why. When you criticize first worldists for acting like first worldists, although I, I don't think Peter Coffin knows that what he's criticizing here is first worldism. I don't, I, I don't think he knows that, and I don't, I, I'm not sure that he would even accept that. But from my ideological point of view, what he's criticizing is first worldism. This petty, nonsensical garbage of calling people names on the internet and doing blatantly reactionary stuff that goes directly against the theory proposed by certain Marxist leaders. I mean, I shouldn't have to quote a Marxist leader to do that. I mean, I can make a perfectly rational, valid argument as to why a certain position is wrong, but people don't, don't listen to it. Oh, you got, a, you got a quote by Lenin or something that backs it up? I don't really need one. It's a rational argument that should be able to stand on its own. But then it's like, oh no, you want a quote by Lenin that says that. Okay. Okay, then I go and dig up a quote by Lenin. Yeah, you quote mining. Oh, God. It's like people don't understand what a goddamn argument is. Don't People don't even understand what a theoretical position is. I don't even know what, what Peter Coffin's actual ideological stance is. I don't even know what his ism is. I know that he's right when he's criticizing BreadTube. And it's it's just... Uh, it's time for every... Like, there's this one person here. It's a time for everyone to work together, not pull apart. See, the problem is you can't have solidarity with reactionaries. What bread tube is, is reactionary. It's, it's just, it's like the people who are constantly screaming, Oh, tankies are fascist. Oh, you like Lenin? You're a Nazi. You like Mao? You're a Nazi. And then, you, and then when someone criticizes them back, when someone criticizes them back, for saying such an incredibly stupid thing. They then turn around and talk about solidarity. Well, why aren't we all working together? Why are you trying to divide? Okay, first of all, the dividing... Okay, that was kind of you that was doing it. You monstrous hypocrite. I mean, it doesn't even make sense. If we both disagree on an issue, and you attack me for it, that's not wrecking, but if I attack you for having the opposite thing, then it's me to attack, you, attack then it's me attacking you for it, then it's wrecking. What the fuck? We're doing the exact same thing. And it just goes to show the ideological inconsistency of this kind of liberal, complete bullshit. For Christ's sakes, Caleb Moppin and I could not disagree more on China. We couldn't disagree any more on whether or not there's a revolutionary potential in the United States. Yet, for some reason, we don't act like idiots trying to sabotage each other all the time. We don't pick fights with each other all the time. We don't call each other names. How is it that Caleb Moppin and I can act like fucking adults, but these people can't? And I'm not even specific. I'm not referring to the bread tube people, but the followers of bread tube people. What is special about Caleb Moppin and I that we can act, that we can be the way that we be without being morons to each other? 
Of course we're going to disagree, but we don't wreck each other. It's, it's, uh, I, I, I don't get it. I don't think Caleb Maupin's reactionary. If I thought he was reactionary, then I would be openly saying so, and then, you know, disagree, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, it's, it's amazing. The self-importance of the people who mindlessly follow BreadTube. They just, they'll insult and put down and trash anyone who disagrees with them in the slightest way and then accuse everybody else of wrecking. I, and I, I think that the reason this exists is people don't want to acknowledge that they're wrong. And that's a lot of what I've seen out of First Worldism. The knee-jerk, angry, emotional, name-calling reaction that you get from pointing out the class difference between the first and the third world is nothing more than a symptom of the, the infantile behavior of first worldism. When someone is incapable of forming a logical argument and reacts emotionally insulting you, then they know they're wrong. Or they're incapable of defending their position that they don't know how, and then that frustration leads to anger, then anger leads to the dark side, or however you want to put it. But this video, despite the fact that I've gone off onto a whole bunch of different things that didn't really matter, well, well yeah, they matter, but they don't matter in what it was I was, I was talking about. But I see that the same kind of thing being done to Peter Coffin that, that gets done to me. It's like, okay, I don't like the way that bread tube. Oh, oh, Peter's spiraling again. He's coming off completely unhinged. Disagree, saying fuck bread tube and disagreeing with the reactionary shit that they do is coming off completely unhinged. It's spiraling? Like, what, what, what is this nonsense? God damn it. Another one goes, ha ha, how is bread tube even real? Just close your eyes, bro. See, it's not that simple. This isn't cyberbullying. This is perversion of leftist political line, subverting it for the interests of the capitalist class. No, you can't just close your eyes. Like, I could point to Mao and saying, you know, to hear incorrect views, blah, 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 is another type, and not arguing against it, it's another type of liberalism. But no, bro, just close your eyes. Remember, the best way for dealing with an argument that you don't, that... The best way to deal with a counter-revolutionary line is to pretend that it doesn't exist. Oh, okay, that sounds just... Just whatever. And this one. Chill the fuck out, dude. It's just... It's YouTube. See, the, the kind of messed up thing is that it's all just YouTube. Or Twitter. Or social media. Because that's how f f effing messed up the first world is. That the vast majority of it really is just social media. And then say, oh, calm down, it's just social media. Well, when social media is all you have, yeah, I guess it is kind of important. Look at this. Peter having a normal one again, I see. Dude, keep the sexual bucket list to yourself. Literally, who cares? And then Spider-Man pointing at himself, jpg. What? <laughs> Shut up. Like, like, these aren't arguments. These are, I don't know, I'm, I'm,
I'm repeating myself at this point. It's absolutely ridiculous. How hard is it to just make a rational argument? And I guess that's all I really got to say about that. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share on various social media. Uh, you know what? Subscribe to Peter Coffin too, or I'll, or I'll have Stalin burn your crops. Why do you hate us? What did we ever do to you? You were born. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.